I just wanted to show you really quick how to speed up your Windows Vista. The first thing you want to do is go to click on your start button, right click on the computer, and save properties. As you can see, my computer is well more than able to run Windows Vista with a 5.0 rating. Click on Advanced System Settings. Click on Settings under Performance. And you'll want to click a Custom Option. Uh, what I have checked is Enable Desktop Composition, Transparent Glass. Show preview and filters in folder. Show thumbnails instead of icons. Show translucent selection rectangle. Show window contents while dragging. Slide open combo boxes. Smooth edges of screen fonts. Smooth scrolls list boxes. Use drop shadows for icon labels on the desktop. Use visual styles on the windows and buttons. Just gives it a nice clean look without a, without. A hitching your performance too much. Alright, now that we've done that, it will take a second for it to take effect. Then you want to go back to your start button. Type in msconfig. M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. Push enter. Alright, now you have this system configuration right here. Now keep in mind, you can click on start up here, and none of these, nothing you see in here is actually necessary to run Windows. So you can click disable all, as I've done, except for Messenger, which I have to run when I boot. This will greatly reduce your boot time, and overall have better performance when you're not running a bunch of things that you don't necessarily need. The same with services. I've disabled all uh, services that are not Microsoft services. You can do that by clicking this checkbox here and then clicking disable all and it will disable all non-Microsoft services. You will need some Microsoft services so I do not recommend disabling all of them. But some of them is are some of them are okay, but I have not disabled any of them because I'm not sure exactly what all of them do. That's really it as far as that goes. There's a few other things you can do, like go into services.msc and disabling a few uh, services there. There is the there's a few of them you you can go ahead and disable. If you don't like IP Helper, it uses IPv6. Nobody uses IPv6 yet, so there's no reason to have that going. Um, offline files is pretty much useless unless you use offline files. Uh, there's the tablet PC input service that you absolutely don't need unless you're using a tablet PC. There's the Windows uh, Search Service, which uh, I disabled because it uses a lot of resources for really no benefit. Uh, it just makes it easier for it, uh, faster for the Windows to search, but I don't really see a reason for it. Uh, Windows Time, which uh, keeps your uh, time up to date. It's not really needed unless you're on a network with, like, oh, I mean, a lot, like a large network. So there's just a lot. You can just play around with it and usually get more performance out of your machine. It made my Windows Vista run quite a bit faster, so I'm pretty pleased with it. Okay, well thanks for watching.